It's time for another great story. Today's story is another story by the famous writer Aesop. This story is called The Tortoise and the Hare. Though it starts off like what it seems, actually, this story's ending is very surprising. Are you guys ready to hear it? I think so. Let's start telling. Once, there was a hare. He always loved to brag about how fast he was in the champion race, and he always got first place. On the other hand, there was a tortoise. He was very clumsy, and he often got bullied for being the slowest person in the race. One day, the two of them met in the forest. Oh, well, hello, Slowpoke, said the hare. Uh, why don't you join for the annual race this year? I will definitely beat you. <sighs> Stop bragging, cried the tortoise in agony. You'll see, I will persevere. You are always a bragger, so you will probably not win. Stop saying a lie, said the hare. I am champion racer. You are slowpoke. Tortoise just gave a sigh. And they waited and waited and waited until the big day came. That day, folks from all around the forest came to the grassy field in water to watch the two contestants compete. Mr. Elephant was the judge. Two contestants, when you race to the nearest tree on the very far end, go around the tree and go all the way back to the finish line. The person who gets there first will take the grand prize of the annual race. Hare and Tortoise got ready to race. On your marks, get set, go for it! And just as they expected, Hare dashed off like an arrow. However, Tortoise barely crossed a few inches. Keep going, Tortoise! You can do it! The crowd cheered. Tortoise persevered for himself and kept moving along. Hare was a couple of meters in front of Tortoise. Then he looked back. Oh my gosh, just look how far he is from behind me. Who said he was going to win this race? And then Hare went off. <sighs> I'll teach that Hare a lesson, the Tortoise explained as he continued to crawl slowly towards the finish line. Halfway there, Hare got very tired from running so fast. He wanted to find a place to take a nap. Then he realized he was in the perfect place. There was a garden of carrots that somebody had left there. I'll eat some carrots and then take a nap. And like he explained, there was a tree right next to the garden where he could take a nap. So Hare munched on all of the carrots in the garden. And when his belly was too full, he lay down under the tree and was fast asleep. Meanwhile, guess what Tortoise was doing? You're right, he kept persevering. He slowly crawled and crawled an inch closer to the sleeping hare. He tiptoed silently across, hoping that the hare would not notice him. And once he knew that he was fully safe from the hare, he started to persevere and kept going for the finish line. The tortoise was still persevering when the hare woke up. He got surprised. Tortoise wasn't behind him anymore. Where is that clumsy little fella? Has he stopped to take a nap too? And then hare looked around. Then something surprised him. He realized that tortoise wasn't anywhere behind him. He was somewhere in front of him. And that somewhere was very close to the finish line. Oh my God, I can't believe what he's doing. And Hare dashed as fast as he could, but before he got to the finish line, guess who won? You're right, Tortoise had stepped in front and taken the grand prize of the annual race contest. Hare was exchanged. He sobbed, learning his lesson. Then Tortoise decided to 
cheer here up. Hare, I knew you would win, but because you bragged, you lost this sign. Just remember, don't brag with other people. Think of yourself. And then Hare calmed down. Then they both cheered for how victorious they were, although Hare was the one who lost, and Tortoise was the one who took the victory. So why did Tortoise win and Hare lose? First, Hare cared too much about winning. Because he had won so many race contests, Hare thought yeah, he will not be beaten. But it turned out that he did. Because Hare took a nap, he didn't notice that Tortoise was in front and tiptoed in front of him. Tortoise, meanwhile, did the right thing. He kept persevering thinking that he will definitely win, and that is exactly what he got. Anyways, this is the end of our story for today. If you want to appreciate our channel, check out the other story videos and smash that subscribe button and the notification bell. Like, share, and subscribe to Brooks and Evelyn for more new videos. The Tortoise and the Hare